What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we are going to be checking out Shadow Bone Alolan Marowak in the Halloween Cup. Today is the last day for the Halloween Cup and all leagues will be coming back as of 1pm PDT, I believe, that's GMT minus 7. Um, so yeah, all leagues will be coming back today or later today. So we're going to take a look at these final sets here with Alolan Marowak. Now I also wanted to bring a unique team as well that didn't have Azumarill and other stuff like that. So I brought Tentacruel and Wigglytuff. They have really great play in this Halloween Cup meta. Tentacruel absolutely walls Azumarill. And with Wigglytuff, if it if they and with Wigglytuff, Charm is such a hard-hitting fast move that if they don't have any resistances to that, it can absolutely chunk through a lot of the meta. So today we are bringing Tentacruel on the lead, Alolan Marowak with Shadowbone, Shiny Alolan Marowak, as well as a cover and Wigglytuff on the safe swap. All right, moving into the first battle here. Um, now you guys may be wondering about my Alolan Marowak as well. This was the best shiny one that I got PVP IV wise um, without trading. I tried trading my wife, but I didn't get any good ones. So we have Tentacruel on the lead versus Gavantula. Really bad lead, so we're gonna go into Wigglytuff. And this is what Charm does. Look at that, it's absolutely chunking. They swap out and they swap into a Crustle. Again, they don't have anything that hard resists Charm, which means Charm's gonna absolutely chunk. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and let this one go through. Could have shielded in hindsight, but it's just an X-Scissor, which we resist, which is really awesome. We're going to go ahead and go for an Ice Beam right here. Hopefully, we can get a shield and get that shield advantage for our Tentacruel and the Lolan Marowak end game. They do shield as well. Come on, Charm. And Charm is actually able to take out the Crustle right there. That is why Wigglytuff on the safe swap can be so deadly. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a Lolan Marowak now, hoping they bring in Gavantula. But instead, they bring in Azumarill. So things are not looking good, right? We could have lined up Alolan Marowak to Gavantula and Tentacruel to Azumarill, but it was just a luck of the draw. But we're going to go ahead and go for Shadow Bone right here, do some nice neutral damage in the matchup, and then we're going to look to swap into the Tentacruel and start getting ahead on energy because what's great about Gavantula with Tentacruel in the two shield situation right here is that Poison Jab and Acid Spray does so much damage. We're actually going to be able to completely farm down this Gavantula. We're throwing the Acid Spray right here, which is going to do some nice chip damage, plus it's going to increase the damage of our Poison Jabs because their defense fell. As you see that, we just took out Gavantula. Azumarill is the last Pokemon left, and Tentacruel is an absolute wall to an Azumarill. You're going to be resisting all the charge moves. Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Play Rough. So we're just going to go ahead and shield, get off another Acid Spray right here. This is, again, going to be lowering the defenses of Azumarill, and we're just going to be able to farm down. So a fantastic first battle right here. Tentacruel definitely carried the game, and I wish I would have used it earlier in the week um, because it is very strong. I'm really impressed um, with how Tentacruel did in these sets right here. And we're going to be able to finish off the Azumarill right there, and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Let's go ahead and move into the next one, shall we? Okay, moving into this next battle here. Let's see how this goes. I think with Alolan Marowak, Shadow Bone, Shadow Bone is nice, but I think it can be flexed, right? Um, but we have uh, Toxicroak on the lead, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to stay in this fight. Yes, we're going to be taking super effective damage from Mud Bomb, but what I want to do is build up to Hydro Pump, and I want to give myself shield advantage. So we don't have to shield right here, Mud Bomb will not KO us from this range, so we're going to go ahead and let it go. We're going to build up to that Hydro Pump and go for an Acid Spray. What I'm hoping this does is one, get the shield, and then two, we're going to swap into Wiggly Wigglytuff and look to chunk as much health as we can. So we're going to go ahead and swap into the Wigglytuff and start farming down. Now, they are throwing a charge move right here. I have to shield. It could be a sludge bomb. But I also really love the switch buttons. I do have some feedback about it. I think we should have the option to have it on both sides um, based on our preference just because my finger actually covers the Pokemon that I swap with. Um, but I think it's great, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and I believe I don't shield right here. Yeah, we're not going to shield right here. We can actually get to a play rough in time and put a lot of pressure on them to sh use their final shield or we're actually going to flip this matchup, which is going to be really nice. So we land the play rough, which is beautiful, and we're going to be able to farm down. Now, if Toxic Crow comes back in, we're going to be able to do a lot of damage with Charm, which we are. Fantastic. Now we're going to go ahead and bring in Alolan Marowak and start to get ahead on energy. Um, Tentacruel won't be able to finish off with fast moves, but Alolan Marowak potentially could. So we're going to have to shield right here. Mud Bomb would do super effective damage, and I don't know what they have in the back, but hopefully it's something that we can handle. And it's going to be... And a Lolan Muck. 
This is very, very dangerous, everyone. You guys know what a Lolan Muck can do. It has access to Snarl, Dark Pulse, Sludge Wave, absolutely destroys a, um, a Lolan Marowak, but hopefully we can swap and force them to use their energy. We're gonna go ahead and go for an Acid Spray as well. This is, again, gonna be lowering the defenses of the Alolan Muck, and they don't know how much energy I have, and they actually shield, which is beautiful for me. I don't think they're gonna be able to finish me off with fast moves, they could've, but they basically built up to two Dark Pulses right here. This first Dark Pulse is gonna take out my Tentacruel. Next one coming in, can the shiny goat hang on? Let's see. Come on, Alolan Marowak. I believe in you. Dark Pulse comes through. We hang on with a sliver of health. We go for the Bone Club right here before the Dark Pulse is able to come through and hit us for that fast move damage. And then it's going to be Alolan Marowak versus Toxicroak. One fast move away, and we win with one HP in a dream. Man, I love Alolan Marowak. All right, moving into the next battle. Let's see how this one goes. Alolan Marowak definitely carried the game right there. Really tough matchup there at the end. Um, but yeah, GG's to my opponent. Tentacruel versus Crustle. Somewhat of a decent matchup for us. If we land the Hydro Pump, it's a lot of damage. And they do swap out into a Wormadam Trash. So um, Wormadam Trash is the typing, right? I've seen some comments about that. Just like there's Alolan Marowak, there's Wormadam Trash Plant. And I can't remember the third one. Um, but I made a mistake right there. So as you guys notice, I should have just gone into my Alolan Marowak. I don't know what I was thinking right there. Just a genuine mistake. We have a really hard cover right here. Um, so we should have just gone into Wormadam and just completely farmed down instead of sitting in there with Tentacruel and losing half of our HP and losing our energy as well. Um, so we're going to see the Crustle now come back in. This is where Shadowbone's really nice. Does a lot of neutral damage in the matchup. Has the ability to lower our opponent's defenses, which we do. That's where Shadowbone is so clutch. And now we can go for the Bone Club right here. It's going to be doing neutral damage as well. And hopefully we get a shield from this, which we do. Fantastic. And then they're actually going to be able to farm us down right here before we can get to another charge move. So... What we're going to do is, I believe I come in with the Tentacruel right here to try to farm down. Yeah, we come in with the Tentacruel. I am going to have to shield right here. Rock Slide would do quite a bit of damage in this matchup, but hopefully we can get some more energy right here. We already took out the Wormadam Trash, and then the last Pokemon is going to be Gavantula. So we're going to bring in the Wigglytuff right here. Now, this is going to be really tough. I got to call the bait. I'm, I'm baiting that this is Lunge, and we're not going to shield. It is going to be resisted, because what they want to do is lower our attack so Charm doesn't do as much damage. So that was a huge huge call in this match right here and now we can safely shield this charge move if it's discharge great lunge great whatever it is we're going to shield it and then the crustal is in the back that we're going to be able to finish off with fast moves and this is why charm on wigglytuff is so deadly everyone as you guys can see able to take it out right there so really good game to my opponent all right moving into the next one we have let's see how this one goes gengar 1z versus gengar 1z Let's see how this battle goes. We have Tentacruel on the lead versus Azumarill. This is what you guys want to see. This is a beautiful matchup. So we're going to go ahead and stay in this. They swap into the Hydra uh, Zuelios. And I've actually seen this team quite a bit. It's Azumarill, um, Wormadam, Trash, and Zuelios. And this is where Wigglytuff just, just destroys that Zuelios safe swap. So if you guys are having troubles with Zuelios, Zuelios, um, yeah, Wigglytuff is the answer right there, which is beautiful. So now we're likely going to be seeing Azumarill come back in, which is actually really great because Charm is still going to be chunking for neutral damage. We're going to be able to get to the player and we're not going to shield right here. We want to maintain even shields because we can realign Tentacruel to this Azumarill and we're just going to go for that play rough right here. It does a lot of damage and on top of that, with Charm, if they don't shield, we might be able to flip this as well. So let's see, we have play rough goes through, we get a shield, that's great. That's great as well. So. Tentacruel is now going to be able to come back in. Again, we resist all the charge moves from Azumarill because of our poison water typing. So we don't need to shield and they swap into a Wormadam Trash, which means we can come in with a Lolan Marowak and completely farm down. And that's going to be a good game. So we're just going to completely farm down. They throw a charge move right here. We're just going to go ahead and shield this. We really don't need to, but we're going to shield anyways. It's going to be an Iron Head. And then I believe my opponent does surrender right here. Yeah, they do surrender. Yeah, right right here. So good game to my opponent. But hey, this team hard counters that team. There's nothing they could have done. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Okay. Yeah, 
Tentacruel, Tentacruel into Azumarill, AWAC into Wormadam. We have another Gavantula lead right here, which is kind of tough. So let's see how this one goes. We're going to swap right away into the Wigglytuff, get ahead on energy. And then an Azumarill comes in right here, which is, again, pretty nice for us. We need to be able to get to that play rough, and hopefully we can. So I believe I do shield right here. We're going to go ahead and shield this charge move. I know Charm can do quite a bit of damage in this matchup. So hopefully they decide not to shield, and we can actually flip this and land Alolan Marowak to the Gavantula but they will most likely be shielding right here. We're throwing the play rough just in case. They do shield as well. So here, I actually could completely farm down. Um, this was a mistake on my end. I should have shielded right here, but I didn't. I let the Ice Beam go through because Wigglytuff could have completely farmed down before they got to another charge move, and I would have had energy for whatever Pokemon's coming in, plus charm damage would have done a lot. So now we're going to bring in the Tentacruel as well. We know Gavantula is going to be coming in, so this is going to be very, 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 very dangerous. Charge move now coming through. We're going to go ahead and shield this. It's likely going to be a discharge. We don't want to get hit with that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go for the Acid Spray right here, and then we're going to look to swap into a Lonely Marowak to get as much damage as we can with Fire Spin because their defenses are lowered. So we got it. We swap into a Lonely Marowak, start chunking the health, and they have their own Alolan Marowak in the back. So this is definitely going to be dangerous. We go for Shadow Bone right here. Does neutral or uh, super effective damage in the matchup, and hopefully they don't shield. They don't shield as well, which is beautiful. That's a lot of health right there, but they are throwing their own charge move. This is either going to be Shadow Ball or or Shadow Bone, both of which would take me out from this range. It is going to be the Shadow Ball. So hopefully Tentacruel can come in and finish this battle off. We are going to see another charge move come through. This is going to be Bone Club right here. Um, it's going to do super effective damage, but not enough to KO us. We saw that earlier. And then we're going to be able to farm down. Now this is going to come down to the wire. We have to throw this Acid Spray and hopefully... Nope, they got a Volt Switch in right there, which is dangerous because Gavantula is all about getting that extra energy from fast moves, and they got it, a Volt Switch on the charge move right there. And as you guys can see, they got to a charge move. So, man, tough game right there. But hey, GG's to my opponent. Um, and yeah, that was a good battle. Into the next battle here. Let's see how this one goes. That one was really close. If I would have gotten um, an extra two poison jabs in by the time they got their Volt Switch in, I think we might have been been able to win that. But we have Tentacruel on the lead versus Quillfish. Somewhat of a neutral matchup right here. Quillfish definitely has the advantage with that Sludge Wave damage um, that it could potentially do. But poison jabs and acid sprays really start to add up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go for the acid spray right here. I don't imagine I'll be getting a shield, but I just want to lower the defenses right here and look to see if we can get a lot of damage off with that poison jab. Charge move now coming through. Through. Could be a sludge wave, but I don't want to shield an aqua tail and it's too early to give up any shields And it is just an aqua tail, which is great So hopefully we can get to another acid spray in time I'm gonna try to get to that hydro pump potentially and we go for the hydro pump, but just a second too late So I'm gonna go ahead and not shield this in case it's another aqua tail, but it was a sludge wave So we lose the lead right there, but we're gonna go ahead and bring in the wigglytuff and start farming down now Hopefully we have some answers for whatever they have in the back, but let's see what they decide to bring in they decide to bring in Frostlass. Okay, so Charm is absolutely chunking right here. And what tell, this tells me as well is maybe they have something weak in the back to a Wigglytuff as well. So we need to shield this Avalanche right here. It's going to do a lot of neutral damage. We're going to swap into a Lolan Marowak and start getting ahead on energy. We are going to see a Crustle come in. And this is where Shadow Bone is so nice because it's so close in energy to a Bone Club that a lot of people may not shield it. But Shadow Bone does a lot of neutral damage to that Crustle and sets Wigglytuff up in a perfect position um, to potentially farm down um, here at the end. So we're going to go ahead and throw the Bone Club right here. We got to start getting shields away from from the Crustle and try to do as much chip damage as we can. Crustle does take us out, but Wigglytuff is going to come in and finish off with a fast move right there. And then the um, Frostlass is going to be coming in, and we're going to go ahead and finish off with fast moves as well before they get to another charge move. And that is going to be a good battle right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope your guys' Halloween Cup was a lot of fun. Um, I personally had a lot of fun using all these unique Pokemon. Today's team was very impressive to me. Um, Tentacruel, Wigglytuff, and Alolan Marowak are a strong um, trio in the Halloween Cup. And Alolan Marowak, I think, has a lot of play with that Shadow Bone, which was that Raid Day exclusive move. Now, what I will say about uh, Alolan Marowak, and right now I want to do more research on it and use it more, especially in Open Great League, to get a better consensus about it. And we'll be making a video like deep diving into Alolan Marowak 
for open great league as well because i think that's the big question we all have um, but overall, I think what you need is you definitely want to have your normal Alolan Marowak with Shadow Ball Bone Club, um, and then you want to have a Shadow Bone one as well. So you want to have two different variants depending on what your team comp needs um, and what the meta is. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.